guys, me, Ho Super Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossed with the Universal Monsters. This was a line that they did do back in the, was it like the 80s or 90s? And more than, I want to say the 90s. I remember as a kid, anyway, I had a bunch of them. And over the years, they've done plenty of like monster crossovers with the turtles. Uh, where we've had like Donatello as vampires and we've had some really cool ones over the years but now NECA have done them as NECA are cur currently got the Universal Monsters line as well as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line so they've done a crossover series in this series we've, we've, we've gotten some great figures and this is the most recent one that I've managed to get my hands on uh, this is Michelangelo as the mummy this is so cool all the rest of them are on the side panel here uh, we have the Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil, Frankenstein's Raphael, Leonardo as the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and then the Mummy himself, Michelangelo. And we're still to get Donatello as the Invisible Man, and there is even uh, Van Helsing Splinter and a Phantom of the Opera, Casey Jones. The line keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting the human characters. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with April. I'm not sure if I'm bothering getting, like... Uh, April, Casey, uh, don't, and Splinter. I'm not too sure about that, but I'm definitely going to be getting all four of the turtles. And in fact, I have three of them right now for review. We've got the mummy in this video, and then coming up later on this week, we have Leonardo and Raphael. Donatello is yet to come out here in the UK. On the back, there is a really cool write up. Obviously, I paid 36 quid at my local comic book store for this one. And you can see a bunch of cool stuff on there. It says, Mikey comes to life. The party dude is out of his tomb. Beware the curse of Cowabunga. You've been warned. Unbelievable turtle terror awaits. Is it dead or is it alive? Through ancient dust and pizza crust lurks Michelangelo the mummy. I love that. Through ancient dust and pizza crust. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break Mikey out of the packaging and take a close look at this awesome figure. So yes, I was on two minds when this first series first came out. I was on two minds. I actually got Raphael uh, when he first came out. And then I sold him on. And I was like, man, I don't think I'm going to bother with this line. And then I saw the rest of them. And like Michelangelo got announced. And this one's my favorite one so far out of all. And that's why I've done him first. This one is definitely my favorite. It just looks so cool. So we do have a spare head, which is nice. Which gives us the like decrepit face look with the gritted teeth looks very weird they've also given us a I want to say that is it a king cobra they've given us a cobra snake uh, we've got some spare wraps which are always good they're the same spare wraps that came with the original universal mummy so they're cool we can always reuse those with our universal mummy if we want to let me snip the uh Listen at least we can get the figure out. <clears throat> Got his nunchucks. His nunchucks are, are actually uh, ancient symbols as well, which is pretty cool. Now, I, I do like the face that Michelangelo comes with automatically. He's like he's. His standard face that's on the figure is really nice, actually. But they do give us that spare one. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use the spare head. I like the original one. Yeah, I like that face already on him. It's kind of cool. Ah, oh, this is a nice figure, man. He looks really good. So his head's on a ball joint, so you can't make him look up and down, left and right, and all that good stuff. Uh, the, oh, there's symbols, there's ancient hieroglyphs on his shell. That's nice. Arms lift up the side hinge and also rotate. Single, oh, double hinged elbows there. Hands are on ball joints. I'm always careful with neckers when they first activate because they, they're notorious for breaking the neckers. Legs lift out to the side, as well as forwards, backwards. Double hinged knee there. And the feet are on rocker and pivot with display peg holes. Should you wish to use a display base, not that you're going to need to, but the option is there. Now, am I going to display this guy with his weapons? I don't think I am. 
he does come with some really cool nunchucks though. His nunchucks are um, little um, Egyptian like symbols. Obviously, we get two of those. There's nowhere to store them on the shell or anything. There's nowhere kind of that they would fit. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would want this like this whole line of figures. I'm not sure if I'm going to be displaying any of them with weapons. I kind of like them just as they are. The, the universal monsters. They don't need weapons. They're monsters. But I do like that they, they have themed weapons. And to be fair, if you wanted, you wouldn't even have to need to change the hands. If you were just displaying him, then the, the actual things just do sit in his hands. And yeah, if I was displaying that on the shelf, I wouldn't want the things just hanging like that. So yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to be using those. But we have got um, spare hands, like you have got a uh, closed fisticuffed hand, and then you've got the two grab hands. So two two fisticuffed hands, two grab hands, and then the two hands that are already on it, which are more your traditional. Yeah, monster hands. <laughs> and they're the ones I'm going to be sticking with. And I will be doing it cheesily, hands out, giving it the old... Because it's, you know, it's the mummy. <laughs> the old mummy walks with his hands. So that's what Michelangelo is going to be doing on my shelf. But yeah, it is nice to get that alternate head, which I will show you on the desk cam. And I will show you the details on the Cobra. So we'll jump down to the desk cam. Where you guys can get an up close personal look at these awesome turtle parts. And uh, Michael himself. So let's jump straight down to the desk cam. So guys, straight out of the box, this figure looks awesome. This is probably the best head in my opinion. I like the fact that his eyes are like open, the other one's shut. And he's got that grimmest look on his face. It just adds to the more you like monster look. Again, these hands are the probably, I like these hands because they're the more, like I say, they're the more like grab sort of monster hands. I'm just, gonna po I just want to pose them up a little bit nicer for when we're, when we're on the shelf. But yeah, that, that's kind of the thing I'm going to be going for, the lurching mummy coming at you. And yeah, it is very detailed overall. I like all the little designs, all the little hieroglyphs and things that have added to the shell and the design. Uh, I like the fact that they've even made the... the um, you know the masks and stuff look a bit more worn and stuff on this particular like version of them So yeah, they've done a great job at transforming the month the, the turtles into monsters They've not just basically repainted an old figure. It is a whole new figure And I love that face that is so cool with the you know all the dents and cracks and Facial tears and stuff, but that one to me is just yeah I'm not a big I'm not a fan of that one for the shelf, but it is cool and animated then of course he does come with the uh, the python as well, which is very cool. Or the cobra, whatever that thing is meant to be a cobra. Is it a king cobra? I can't quite tell. I'm not that big on snakes, but yeah, it's a very cool uh, piece. But I don't think I'll be using it with the turtles. But yeah, cool idea. And then to go with our turtles as well, as I say, we've got the classic nunchucks for Mikey. We get two of those on lovely gold chains. Some spare wraps that we can hang off him, so those can be attached like around the wrist and things, just to add more to the add more to the wraps and looks and things for the shelf. Probably keep those on for the shelf like that, because that looks pretty cool. And then, of course, like I say, we've got a bunch of extra hands that I'm not going to be using in, on this one. But yeah, overall, a very nice addition to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. And yes, I will be putting this on the shelf. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Have you got the Universal Monsters, Turtles? What are your thoughts on them? Let us know in the comments down below and tune in later this week because I will be reviewing Leonardo and Raphael on the channel as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I am your host, Supes, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Bye.